Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. After the services, Prince Philip's coffin was taken to the royal vault, which lies beneath the chapel and houses the remains of King George III, who died in 1820, King George IV and King William IV. But when the time comes, Philip will be relocated to be near his devoted wife of 73 years, Queen Elizabeth II.1 day ago. Let's help you make your mark. Queen Elizabeth II sits alone at Prince Philip's funeral. Family says farewell at St. George's Chapel. A week after his death, Prince Philip was laid to rest Saturday with a funeral fit for a royal, but within the confines of Britain's COVID-19 pandemic rules and in the no-fuss manner the Duke of Edinburgh requested point one day ago. Make your mark, take our lead. Britain's royal family said farewell to Prince Philip, family patriarch and Queen Elizabeth II's husband of 73 years, who died last week, a few months short of his 100th birthday. Waiting for him in the ancient chapel was the Queen, dressed all in black and wearing a matching mask against the pandemic point one day ago. Make your mark, take our lead. The funeral service of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh and the late husband of Queen Elizabeth II, is scheduled to take place on Saturday, April 17. Coverage of the royal family event will be broadcast live around the world from Windsor Castle starting at around 7 a.m. Pacific Time, 10 a.m. Take our lead. The biggest of seven interment sites inside the chapel, the vault houses the remains of King George III, whose almost six-decade reign included the years of the American Revolution. His sons King George IV and King William IV are also buried there point one day ago. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.